Uh, hello again guys, uh, now in this video I'm going to show you how to get a normal channel from your mesh uh, this is important inside NAD and we're going to emit some velocity on it and uh, do a little of uh, NEL you know NEL is the expression language of NAD to uh, do a couple of operations actually I think one operation on it to influence the way the velocity is getting emitted so this is the a kind of minimal uh, graph that we can just evaluate and you're gonna see when we step through you're gonna see that uh, just uh, liquid gets emitted from the emitter and just falls down uh, with the gravity acting on it so so then uh, to get the normals uh, first I can go here on that body which is uh, just the one that goes after the mesh lead so it is, uh, you see the signature of the body is mesh so it has uh, the shape, uh, the point and triangle shapes so uh, you see in the point shape we have the normal and position channels which is cool because um, one, because now uh, imported a normal channel when importing the mesh and you see that we do have that inside here so then the only issue would be to translate it uh, somehow into the field shape here, into the volume signature with the field shape, some kind of a channel here now fortunately the mesh volume does have this channel sweeping feature here which takes exactly this, uh, it takes a uh, data channel from the point uh, and it uh, converts it to a channel on the field uh, which is very nice and uh, if we just change the point loss here to normal Actually, yeah, it doesn't work in, a, obviously in the right context, so I have to write point one. So you see that I don't have the error anymore, and if I go into the field shape here, I do have the normal channel now. It is really cool the channel sweeping here because you can just do a um, For example, a list like this, just a, a space, a limited list, and it's gonna um, sweep all your channels, uh, all the channels that you specify, and it's gonna send them to the field shape, which is really nice. So now our new field shape has uh, both distance field, which we export here, and also a normal field. It does have also lost field, but it is empty so far, just because you know, our animation, our mesh is not animated. Really. So if I get another field export and connect to the output I can get the other field from the body, uh, the other channel from the... I mean, yeah, I can get the, the, the normal channel from the field, so let's uh, say normal and I want to need velocity, so I'm just going uh, I could actually emit it from the um, distance, but in the... the velocity emit node, I do have a few more controls so let's just space this thing out a little bit connect the bodies and here for velocity I can connect this guy and it's cool that I can just scale it inside here so I'm gonna remove that acceleration just to see the pure effect of the last unit so now let's see don't really have anything happening uh, I wonder if it was needing a distance field. Yeah, so when I connect the distance field, which just is just telling it uh, where to emit that velocity, you see that now I have this uh, nice emission in all directions uh, from the uh, normals. It's not really a, a you know, circular shape just because of the solver which is doing its liquid action there. You know? So uh, what happened with me was that I was trying to emit from um, 
like from, from normals again, but in a fountain. So I ended up having to uh, need just to emit upwards. So I know I lost the uh, normals was okay, but just I just didn't want to emit downwards. I only wanted to emit up. And I'm just going to show you how to do this. I think uh, just because it's interesting. So there is this field nil node, which uh, was my first um, kind of approach into the into nil. And nil is the net emission uh, net expression language. So it is the language that is uh, allowing you to um, write all this kind of expression stuff and everything that you see here uh, anywhere in the fields is just an uh, expression that gets evaluated. So what you can do in the field nil is that, let me put this in the middle. So um, I wanted to just have the thing emitting upwards, which means that on the y-axis I would need to do an abs uh, just to cut off all the negative values, to make them actually positive, the negative values on the vertical axis, which is the y. So the way to do this was to do an abs function, uh, which is absolute value, meaning uh, just remove the sign, everything becomes positive, and then here I need to um, put in the a inputs. Um, actually, it's y axis of the a input here. So the way to call this is with a column, then in quotes, you write uh, the A, the name of the output, and then in the square brackets, I write the index of the uh, uh, component. So in this case, it's one just because the Y axis is uh, one, the in index of the Y axis. And I'm gonna just leave the uh, X and the Z as they were, which means A, zero, and copy it over for a2. So now let's um, step this. And you're going to see that I actually have the stuff emit emitting upwards, which I think is really cool. So this is a thing that you can use for, you know, fountain and stuff like this. And the cool thing is that you can uh, go uh, forward and like mask it with some, something, so you know you don't get just this smooth uh, field. You can mask it with the noise, or you can just um, you know carve some interesting shape, more interesting than uh, a sphere. Obviously, everything would be more interesting, and you can get some uh, really nice emissions. But overall, the most important thing is obviously the uh, acquisition of the channel uh, here from the point shape that you can do with the channel sweep. And uh, don't forget that you can acquire many channels and you can export them with the field export. And yeah, it's really handy and useful. Thanks.